Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I am here to kind of finish up our journal that we were doing. Um, the only thing I kind of did while um, you guys were not watching, <laughs> okay, is I went ahead and kind of bling this up a little bit. I put a little bit of um, uh, just some glitter glue that was uh, red on uh, Santa's jacket, his hat, the holly, the star, and then on the poinsettia down here just to kind of give it a little extra blingy there. And then I did, um, <clears throat> I didn't even realize this, but this is the frosted crystal is a uh, embossing, uh, uh, kind of an embossing glaze. And I tried that out and I put it all over the, um, I don't even know if you can tell unless you really look at it, the, the picture here that we had. <clears throat> and what that did is it kind of gave it a kind of a crackly effect to it, a really cool effect. Uh, maybe glass or a window that's been frosted. Um, <clears throat> and then I also put on a little bit of this snowfall um, which is uh, basically a translucent snow so it's a very crystally um, kind of snowy look here and I didn't put a lot on this one I just put a little bit on top and a little bit over here and there just to give it a little bit more pizzazz so anyway um, I didn't do anything else to it because I kind of wanted to show you uh, what we're going to do but in the meantime um, I decided that what I was going to do is go ahead and make a few more of these I'm making a total of four and let me show you what I did I did this one so this is basically the same idea um, I put a little bit more of the snow on there and I think I put some of the um, embossing over here and up here. Um, I didn't put any over here. So, and I put this Miriam Bright up there. So that was this one. And then I did another one. <clears throat> so this one, um, I did put the... Um, the uh, red up here and a little bit of um, stickles up here and I, I think I put more snow on this one and some stars so it does look a little different and then one of these um, word um, things that he has so that is that and then I did this one and this one I did I I'm kind of I kind of used it as my prototype for me to get done so this one I kind of worked on a little bit more and I'll show you that next um, but anyway I did a little bit more of the snow up here and the words um, and this I put some clear um, kind of stickles on here I don't know if it was stickles exactly but I did that there and I, I did that because um, I just wanted that to pop out a little bit more. But anyway, that's kind of how I did it. Um, on these pieces here, they were not on chipboard. So I popped them up with um, either chipboard or I used, I had some foam tape or I used a um, little uh, piece of um foam board or something just to kind of uh, give it the dimension that it has so and I did that on this one as well not as much behind here but I think doing that really adds a lot to it it gives it a lot of dimension and as I said these were not um, chipboard pieces but I went ahead and um, did it with those this one was, so I didn't have to do anything really to that. I just put the picture in it. So, see that gives you that dimension that you have when you put the stuff on top. 
So, and again, this one was chipboard that we started out with, so, but it does give you the dimension. I think it's really, it really adds a lot to it. So anyway, um, what I wanted to show you is what I did on this one, and that way you can have an idea of what where we're headed. Um, let's see here. And I think when I get done with all of these, I'll probably do a flip through, but okay, I did put um, some eyelets on the belt and I cut it a little bit shorter. So it has several going all the way through there, but this has gotten kind of chubby. So I will tell you one thing I did do is I made um, the spine bigger, but I probably could have made it even bigger because I, by the time I added everything in here, it got quite chunky. But let me show you where we're at and what we added to this that I didn't do to the other one. Now this is kind of decorated and it's probably all I'm going to decorate it. Okay, so our file folders that we had I used to make a journaling card and I have not decorated that and I'm probably not going to because the idea behind this journal to me is one that is for you to add to and decorate and do whatever. I did put a, a material pocket over here and the reason I did that is I, I like the texture of having um, a little bit of um, fabric in there. Um, I made this little tag here, but you know, the tags and stuff, I don't know, Base, they're real basic. I haven't done that much to it. Um, and every one of these is going to be decorated differently. But the one, the things that are going to be the same is I, we did put this on the one that we did together. Um, but I added um, little like tuck spots and pockets. So that you can write over here if you want to. You could tuck a picture in if you want to. Um, I tried to make most of the decorating removable. So that way, this here, you could tuck another picture in it. Um, so I made these little cards and these are, are just done to fit in here. And I just put a whale tail punch on there. And I'm gonna probably add more to this as far as decorating goes. Um, I think I'm gonna probably go ahead and put um, an eyelet in some of these and, and dangle a few things off of them. Um, but for the most part, I'm not gonna decorate it much more because I really want it to be something that when the person gets it, that it'll be decorated and yet they can still add things to it. So like for instance, on this page, I just put a tuck spot over here and if you wanted to, you could leave it the way it is and then just add a picture. You could put something over it. Um, but I did put a little tag in there. But the point was is that allowed you to decorate it. And then again, you've got this card here. And we do need to remember too is that we also have this area right here that gives us a little tuck spot right there or we can put a picture or we could write there or whatever we wanted to do and then here's the little pocket that that we added to this and again you could write there or you know add a picture do whatever you want to do write on the journaling cards so that gives you that this I made a little tuck spot and I thought it went really well with this page. And again, we've got a little journaling card here. So you could tuck a picture in there, take that out, leave it in. And again, you've got another little um, journaling card here. And all I did on these, and I didn't sew around these, um, I did on everything else, but um, <clears throat> all I did on these is just made them to fit inside the envelope and then I put a whale tail punch on it or or a tab I mean and this is just all the leftover pieces that we had when we uh, covered these other pages so that's what's cool about that is you're just using what you already had in there 
these were all leftover pieces so they're all you know they're different sizes so here's a tuck spot here and then you've got um, you know your journaling cards that you can put in there um, here was just one of the you know one of the pages that I did just like the others but then I put this little tree there and didn't glue it all the way down so it made a little tuck spot and then we've got a little journaling card again we've got our journaling card here and then here we have um, a pocket and I basically the way I did it is every other one I either did a, a little tuck or I did a pocket and I just kind of switched it out a little bit um, just made a journaling card to go in there again with the scraps and then put these two things in there okay this is just a little tuck spot that I made on the decorated page again you could put your own picture in there um, or you know use what's use leave it the way it is and here is another journaling card again we've got another uh, little thing in here this is um, another little tuck spot and it's got a couple of little journaling cards that I did and then I just made this with these little this Tim Hulse guy the guys going down the sled and I added this to it to give it a little bit more stability I just made that a little tuck spot so there you go and then this is the last page again this also has um, a journaling card in there so and again all of these have another pocket right there so you could actually put another journaling card in there if you wanted to or tuck a picture or a note or something like that so you have you have a lot that you can do with this this is the last page and um, again you could write on this um, tuck a picture in there a couple of journaling cards in there and then we do this here and then I put um, one of the Tim Hull slot um, things in there and that just adds uh, um, I think a lot of little little pieces to it that you could use okay um, the one thing I also did is on these this one also on the end because we're using envelopes um, we had this there and I thought the green file folder the reason I did it is of course I like that they're you know reasonably sturdy but I thought that the color went good with everything so um, but on this I went ahead and put uh, the material on there just because um, when it closes it, it was sticking out and it would hit the um, the belt buckle here okay and this way it won't do that it can it can bend over like see this this can go right over it like that okay and then it doesn't mess with it so that is the reason I did that and of course you can do this as small or as big as you want I, I did it all the way down to five so it's up to you how you want to do it and then this does fit through there with the eyelets in there because I was a little worried about that but it fits just fine and I think it turns out really cute like that you know it's it's a little bit of a gator mouth but um, I think it it, it turned out kind of cute so anyway I'm not going to probably do a lot more decorating to this um, I'm going to add a couple things on there like I said maybe a couple dangles and maybe that's probably it simply because of the fact that it can't hold that much more and I want it the person that gets this to be able to add to it but what I wanted to do today is go ahead and um, make the things that we need to put in here and I don't know if we'll do all of them because they're kind of redundant but I thought we could go ahead and do that today and really all we're gonna do let me see I think I already have one. Oh, that was too small that's right um, so you're just gonna take your um, your file folder and I don't know you can get these all the time um, that are recycled and I just cut this metal part off
and throw it away because I don't really have a use for it. If I can think of something, I'll let you know. But And then I just took my cutter out. Um, let me use one of my other ones. I did it on all these other ones, so um, I haven't done it on that one just because of the fact that I thought we would be doing it together. Now see on these, I went ahead and I put the whale tail punch on and then I realized when I was doing this that what it would do is it kind of bent the, the uh, tab. So that way I went ahead and I cut it off and I put the material on there. But these were, let's see, <clears throat> weren't they? No, a little bit more. Okay, six and a half approximately. <clears throat> so let's do that. That side's a little not as messed up. And these are old, so they're not in perfect shape. Alright. And then it was, what was that? By four and a half. Okay, so we will go, and I'm going to do a tiny bit more because I've got to cut off the edge. All right. Oop, I did it. I'm going through two of them, so. All right, let me go ahead and just kind of cut that edge because. should work okay so now we have these two and I'm gonna go ahead let me get my other paper I've got my thing for my tabs and this is just some material that I have that is um, from part of a um, dish towel that I used and I, I just like the colors in it and anyway um, all I'm going to do is make a tab with that but um, before I add that to this what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut out my other pieces that I need and those pieces are going to be They are going to be six by four. So I'm going to cut several um, six by fours. If I do it this way, I'll get more out of them. All right, so let's go. These are six, so we have to go four. Okay, that's one. And we need a total of six of these because we had, let's see. So this one is, let's see how big that is, by four. And then we're going to go six. So you should get three out of every piece. So let's do, move that out of the way. And I save all these pieces because that's what I use to make tabs and everything. Okay, let's go. Six by four. Now all I did with these afterwards is I just took my um, corner punch and I think I did, let me see, I did a half inch on all these because I wanted them rounded. So Let me 
move these over so we don't get everything on the way. And then, let's see, so we have two of those, and now we have to have, put that back over here with that one. And these are just, you know, super easy. And this craft card um, is thick enough because we're going to add um, some more of the Tim Pulse paper to it. And again, you don't have to do that. You could certainly um, just leave them plain. But I just did it that way um, to kind of have it decorated. The idea of these to me is like they're decorated and then you add your other stuff to it. <coughs> So, okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this and make little tabs. And basically, I'm just going to put those right here toward the middle. And they're not going to be real long. They're just going to be, you know, like about right here. I had to break out my new scissors. I can't figure out where my other ones went. I'm hoping they did not fall in the trash can. Anyway, um... I had bought a pair because I got it, I think it was 50% off or something. It was like 50% off the Tim Holtz. I think it was at Hobby Lobby or something. Either 50 or 40, I don't remember. So anyway, I was like, well, you know, I might as well um, get a backup pair because I love them. And I'm going to glue this and sew it, but I want to glue it first. And I know it's not perfectly straight, but that's fine. I like it that way. And I'm going to put this right here. And let me see, I don't want it hanging out too much, but that's about right. So I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to come and sew it right here. And do that on this one. <clears throat> yeah, I just had a kind of a week that I wasn't planning on, so you know, that's how life is. But I thought, oh, I'm going to get the tree out and start getting all that done. And well, I just didn't feel like doing anything. <clears throat> So that kind of just set me behind a little bit. So, and I really had tried, I was going to do another process video um, this week, but nope, I don't think so. And plus, I have people coming in from out of town and all that kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> all right. All right. Now on these, I am going to just use my um, punch to make tabs. You could definitely do that if you want to. Just use any kind of uh, tab you want. I don't think we need six total. I don't know. And I'm using the uh, just the file folder. Uh, to do that and this is just the leftover piece <clears throat> there we go and that gave us six so <clears throat> all I'm gonna do with that is those on yeah I don't know where there's just things my my um, craft room has gotten so messy from all the, the stuff I'm trying to get done and I finally realized I'm not going to get the things done I want to get done <coughs> I am going to continue to work on Christmas stuff and if it doesn't sell this year then that's fine um, 
because I, I feel like working on Christmas stuff because it's not even Thanksgiving. That way, excuse me, um, if you guys want to, um, you know, maybe do some Christmas journals or something for gifts or whatever, um, not necessarily to sell them or anything, um, or it doesn't have to get out there, you know, super quick. Um, here, I'm going to use my other glue for that faster. Um, anyway, then we can be doing it. And like I said earlier, I'm trying to do things that do not take a ton of time. Um, these really didn't take that much time. You know, the decorating always takes me longer because, again, it takes me forever to sometimes figure out what I'm going to do. Um, I do want to make um, some tab ta uh, tags and stuff with my Tim Holtz um, stamps that I bought. And I probably will do a few of those and then record it. Um, just for people that want to um, <clears throat> maybe do some on their own. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to, my next thing I'm going to do is make a folio, which I really kind of want to do because I think it'd be kind of fun. I think I didn't do that one exactly right. <clears throat> And um, we'll decorate that one together. <clears throat> so probably what I'm going to do on some of these. <clears throat> oh, I didn't put enough glue on that, did I? Is I'm going to... Um, a couple eyelets in them and then have some dangly things hanging from them. I think. I'm not positive yet. <clears throat> it's usually one of the last things I do. And you could also um, do the material tabs or you could use... Um, <clears throat> I thought about using some of this too. I thought that would work really well on for tabs. But I decided to go ahead and do this. Um, but try it that way. See if it works better. If I put it in the right spot, though, I think I did it crooked. Um, anyway. There's a lot of different things you can do. Oh, I made a mess there, didn't I? Alright, so now, put a little bit more glue in that corner. We have these done as far as getting them ready, and now we're going to add, um, we're going to add things to that. So we're going to go ahead, and I just have all my scraps sitting over here, and I don't remember what the width was that I needed. I think since these were four, I was looking for some that were like, and it was really weird. Um, it just so happened that a lot of the scraps that were in there were exactly the right size. I have a feeling on these, we're going to probably have to cut them. I, th I might, thought I had a couple up here. Yeah, I have two. And these are, let me look on my other, get that one out, because it's smaller. Again, I was just using all the pieces. So this was, um, this was a uh, three and three fourths by right at six. So I don't know if they were all that size. Yeah, three and three fourths by six. So, I don't think I had any more that size. 
but this was just like what happened to be the size that I had left over so um, yeah I'm gonna have to make those a little bit smaller but I don't think I have any that's the right width are these too wide these like these are too wide oh they're about right maybe I should do them three and a half Let's see what we have yeah see these are all but then we'll use them because we're gonna make pockets and some other things so um, let's see these are my big pieces that I have left I have another package but I'm trying really hard not to um, to open it up if I can help it so Yep, just use these. See if I have any more. I've got that. And I'm also using the um, worn wallpaper too. That in there. Pretty much the same as you would, you know, cardstock. Oh, there's some more pieces down there. Doesn't look like I have any more scrap pieces though. But this is all the pieces that were left out of the packets that we had and let's see here got a few more of these get those out so I can look at them kind of look at the whole pieces now we're going to use a lot of these other scraps too in a little bit so I'm gonna, I just keep keeping them all in one little place there's some other things mixed in there that aren't supposed to be but that's okay oh don't fall okay so let's see here um we're gonna have to make this i think a little bit smaller but not that small that's too small i think so let's go three and should we go three and a half is that yeah okay let's try three and a half and then by this is six so you probably need to go five and a half three and a half by five and a half let's try that all right yeah that looks about right three and a half by five and a half so we'll do that three and a half by five and a half that's two and we've got two with red let me just use that one and that one so let's do how big is this okay I don't want to cut that whole thing so we'll go three and a half I'm sorry I'm doing that wrong yeah three and a half by five and a half right all right now on these I did not um, round the corners I just put them on their square um, of course you can do what you want to do and you could put these on with the tab going over it it's up to you <clears throat> but I am just going to put these on just like that and the only thing I'm going to do is ink them if I can find my ink where did I put it Oh, here it is. Um, and you know, you just can ink or not ink. It's up to you. But I like to ink them. Especially when I'm doing Tim Holtz stuff. It just seems like it needs to be inked. So. And I do that a little bit on both sides. And I do the tab a little bit. And I'm going to do this. And so, so that is all we're going to do on these is we're just going to do our tabs and our, put our pieces down. 
Now I did not sew around these, but um, you certainly can. There's a lot of sewing in this already, but I figured um, you weren't really going to see this. So I didn't feel like it needed to be sewn. Okay, so I'm going to do that on all of those. On this, I'm going to just sew right here, just for looks really, because it's probably strong enough. And um, then I will be right back, and we will go on to the next part, okay? All right. All right. We're back. Okay, so we put our um, other pieces on, and that gives us a good variety of different um, uh you know, things for our our tabs, and these all go in here, and we can kind of decide, oh, what looks good with what on what page. Um, <clears throat> I think I think that looks good there. Of course, we can move them around. It's not any any real big deal how we do them. So let's see. I think that would look good there. I don't know. Let's see, maybe I'll put that one there, and then these are going to go up front like this, okay? And they're going to fit right up in here. Now the problem I have with this is I put, um, I did sew it down there. I may have to make these a little smaller or take that out. You can't really see it. Ugh. I may just have to take it out. Otherwise, you won't be able to fit anything in there. I'm going to cover this up anyway. You're not going to be able to see it, but... Oh, good. Okay, good. It stayed in front. Put a little glue on that. Oh, that stitch stays in there. It's just for show. It's not really supposed to do anything, so... Good. All right. That's where I messed up and decided to sew after I already put it together. So, all right, yeah, that fits good. And the back one, uh, it might not fit because I have both of those and I, I'm not going to put anything over that. So I may have to make it a tiny bit smaller. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's just something's going on at the bottom. I must have just sewed really crooked. Okay, there we go. I don't know where that came from. All right, now here's the thing. The reason I did the fabric tabs is because what I figured out when I did the other tab, it doesn't matter on the ones on the inside because they're in far enough. See, they're in way far enough, okay? But the ones on the outside... Um, if you had the tabs here, they would bend the tab. So that's why I had I made the fabric ones, and I think they look cool too. So we did that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now the other thing I did is I went ahead and I had already put holes in this, but let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if it'll go out that far. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the eyelets in that and all I did is I already have holes in here I just thought it looked more a little bit more like a you know belt let's see I have one two three let's see one two three four five all right and I mean it was fairly easy to do that so Let's see here. I already punched holes in here, but they may not be big enough. I may have to make them a little bit bigger. I think that's what I did with the other ones, is I made it bigger. Now, of course, all of this would be easy to do before you put it on there, but then I knew I probably would not get it right if I did that. see if I can get that in there good with that. I don't know if I'll do all of these with you, but I just want to show you. It was fairly easy. It wasn't hard. 
there we go I think that worked yeah okay so I just did that on all five of these and then on the end I cut this off a little bit shorter and let me see if I can show you on the one I did so you don't have to watch me do them all and then I just kind of cut it off like that. I put a little bit of glue on the edges so it wouldn't fray and I just did all five of these little holes like that um, which is what I'm going to do on this anyway but I won't do them all with you but anyway that's all I did is that and that gave us the little um, holes there. I think I'll just wait and do that later so y'all don't have to watch me do all those. Um, <clears throat> in the front I had this material and I thought it would look good for a pocket. I always like to add fabric and things when I can. And I wasn't trying to cut it perfectly, so. And, um, <clears throat> okay. So, what I did is I just put a little pocket up front. And then I took some of my other material that I had and I used it to go across the front. I don't know if I want it quite as wide as that. Um, yeah, let me make it a little bit more narrow. And I like it to have the torn look to it, so that's how I did that. <coughs> so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and sew that on top but I want to go ahead and glue it also and then this is just going to go right here. See, that's why I was telling you that the stuff is there. Now I'm going to have to put something up here, but that's okay. I can just take like a little <clears throat> something like this. I can put it up there. Christmas address something or I don't know what. There's all kinds of little fun things in here. I could put a little collage up there. <clears throat> they give you so many cool little things oh here we go I'll put that up there I think that'll look cool I'll just put that up there and that'll look intentional and um, you know like I didn't mess up alright so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go ahead and fray this a little bit because I want it a little bit frayed and I'm going to sew all the way around here and across the top and then glue it. But I'm going to glue it. See how this is a little crooked on the bottom? I'm going to actually glue it to where it hangs out a tiny bit on down here. Just because I think it looks cool. But I'm going to let that dry first. And in the meantime, I took one of these little slot, um, Tim Hole slot things. And we're going to put that in the back. Let me just ink that up because we'll let that glue dry. That's a piece that needs to come off of there. Anyway, these are always good to add interest. And I like how it looks when you do that. Now this one is fine as far as that goes. So I am just going to add this to the back. And that will give us this nice little pocket thing in the back here. Okay, a little bit more right there. And that is going to go right here. Kind of sort of in the middle. Get all that glue off. And then this is just, this was cut out with um, the file, the fi green file folder. So it all kinds of goes together. And I'm going to go ahead and ink this a little bit and put it on to 
cover my boo-boo up there. Just put that right there. Okay. All right, now on this, let me sew around it real quick. Now this sewing is not really um, structural at all. It's just, just for looks. So we're just gonna put that right here. And I just want it hanging out of the bottom just a little bit. So I'm gonna use my three and one for that. Kind of put that, I'll just put it on here. It'd probably be easier. That is going to be our pocket up front. Make sure it's hanging. I want it hanging just a tiny bit on the bottom. I could put a tiny bit too much glue, but I'll wipe that off. And then, all right, so now that we've done that, what we have left to do structurally is just add what we're going to add to the, to the rest of this. And that is um, mainly we're going to do little pockets and things right here. And then what I did is I took these pages and made little tuck spots. But I'm just going to show you those again so you see what I did. But for this part, I just took our little scraps again. Um, Let's see here. And really, I mean, you have so many of them that can work. So I just pulled out different ones that I thought would look good. A couple maybe for pockets. And then, I mean, there's just so many that you can use. That, oh, that has to be a pocket. Let's do that. Okay, I want this one to be a pocket, so I have to do exactly the opposite of that. So I have to do a side thing for here. So what do we want to do with that? Don't want to do that. Let's take them all out again. Let's do that. And then this needs to be a pocket. So we could do that. Or that. And then this has to be a side thing. I don't know what I want to do with that. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay, this could be that. I think I'm going to do that. I think that will look good. All right. Oh, wait. We're doing that, right? Or maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, guys. <clears throat> See, this is why it takes me forever when I do stuff. Okay. We'll just do it like that. We're going to do it like that. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these to size. This is already a good size right there. And then I'm going to sew around them. And that's going to go probably about right there use my big scissors so I can maybe have a chance of cutting straight. Should be a little bit smaller probably. Okay, and then I probably, I probably want to make it a little bit shorter. So that will go there like that and then this one's the right size so it'll go right there and then this one let's see here that's about the right size so I don't have to do anything to that good and then this one I have to cut maybe I have one longer 
I guess they're all about the same size, aren't they? Yep. I don't want to cut another piece, so I will use that one. I'm going to cut it probably about that far. They don't all have to be the same. In fact, I like them better not to be, but I'll put that there. And then this one, I don't know if I want that there. Oh, this is going to be a pocket. That's right. Mm. I want that on the outside. Put that right there. I'll do that. I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit shorter. And then, oh, maybe more. I'm trying not to get it. I don't want it to hit the notch that's up there. Cut it crooked, of course. And just a tiny bit this way. And then that's crooked. I may have biggered this one up enough. I can't use it. Let's see. Oh, it's still too big. Okay. But it's still too long this way. Gotta go like that. <clears throat> okay. All right. So now that I've done all these, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna notch the top of those. And you really don't have to do that, but I did just a little bit. <clears throat> Put these, I'm going to make a pile of them over here. I'm not notching that. I'm going to notch that. And I'm going to sew around these. For no other reason than for looks. And I'm going to ink them. And then we'll just glue them all down. Alright, so we have all of our pieces here now. And... I'm going to go backwards because I know that I want to do this piece here. And I'm going to put it here. And you now I was thinking maybe I'll put that there. That might look good. I think I like that better. I'll do that. Okay. So anyway, all I'm doing is putting some glue on it, gluing these down. And I will decorate them more later. Um, again, that's up, you know, totally up to whatever, how you want to do it, but make sure that's on there good. And then the next one is this one, and I don't remember what we were going to do with that, but I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put, oh, I did it upside down, I did it the wrong way. It doesn't matter. It's not going to matter. We're going to put something over it anyway. I think I put that one. I don't know what I did. Honestly, cannot remember. That can go here. Right? And then... Or I could put that one here. Nope, I can't put that one there. Clash too much. And then that... Can go here. That can go there, and then that can go there. Okay. Anyway, I guess I could do that. That would work. Why don't I just do that? Anyway, um, you're just going to do this and glue them all down. And I added lace and trim and things like that to them, but you definitely don't have to. That, to me, I think is just decorating parts of it, so we're not going to do that. That's kind of to your taste. I don't know. I think I sewed it on the wrong side. It doesn't matter. It's going to work anyway. The sewing machine started goofing up over there. I have no idea why. 
that's okay. <clears throat> anyway, um, and then again, too, you don't have to put all of these tucks on pockets and stuff like that. You could leave it just the way it is. This is just the extra thing that I did to make it a little bit more interesting. But you definitely do not have to do that. You can take it as far as you want to take it. But I just want to give everybody the basic structure. And you're going to have a lot of leftover pieces anyway. So... <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> That's all right. Okay. So we've got all of our pieces um, in. And basically, that's all there is to the structure. Um, we did our back pocket. We've got that there. I mean, our front pocket. And we've got our little slot here. And then everything after that, you go ahead and put your other um, eyelets in. So I'm going to show you the one that I finished so that you can get a better look again. So all you'll do is continue to add your eyelets okay um you don't have to do as many as i did i mean you could maybe do like three and you'd probably be okay um and then i just kind of snipped off the corners and i put a little glue on it to keep it from fraying um you can see i put a little doily on here that's all i did up here um, I added, you know, now here, this is what I was talking about too. On these pages, if you want to decorate them, you can, or you can leave them the way that they are. If you leave them the way that they are, somebody can put a picture on it. Um, this I did to where you could put a picture in there if you want to. This I made a tuck spot, so you can take that out and put whatever you want in there. But this one, I made a tuck spot as you can see here so that you can add whatever you want to that um, the same thing here I made a little tuck spot so that is a functional thing that you can do here's another tuck spot right there um, this one I made a tuck spot okay um, so that's another functional thing that you can do and that would be um, <coughs> That would be on all of these pages right here. You could just do that to them or leave them this way. Um, so somebody could just put a picture on it. I mean, I personally think that would be fine. So um, the other things that I did really is I just put, <clears throat> I just put like lace or trim like on these pieces. Um, on the pockets, I put a little bit of lace or trim. Did that there. So that's really about all that there is left to do, is just to go through and add little decorations. This is just a little piece of doily that I put on there with that. And then I just loaded up the back pocket. And that's it, guys. That's the only difference. I made tags to put in there. Um, but that's all, you know, decorating to taste. So that's pretty much it. That is all you would do to finish this off. And then you have a really fun little journal that I think someone would be really excited to get. Um, you could make it smaller and not put as many pages. Now this one, um, I only made the um, half inch or a quarter, let me see, how much did I do it? A quarter inch. And the other ones I did a half inch spine. Definitely you need a half inch spine, maybe even more. <laughs> I mean, this is still gonna close, but it's gonna be a lot tighter just because um, 
uh, you know, once you add everything in there, even though none of it's that bulky, um, it's going to it's gonna add some to that. So it'll be fine because we've reinforced it and everything. Um, but that's just something to consider. I mean, you could take a couple of these pages out if you wanted to. Because again, this all comes out. You could take all these out and not have as many in there if you wanted to. Um, you could do it maybe with, um, let's see, we did a total of three. I mean, you could do it with two or you know, whatever, even one if you wanted to. But um, ultimately what it comes down to is just preference, your personal preference. So um, anyway, I'm going to finish these and I will probably do a flip through of all of them. But um, ultimately that, what I showed you is the structure of it, of how I'm doing it. Again, you know, you can change it up and do whatever it is you want to do. Um, you can not decorate those, not put this on, not put the pockets in. Um, you can not put all these journaling cards. And don't forget, you still have this area right in here. So you could actually technically put journaling cards in here too if you wanted to. Um, you know, so I just thought that person would, whoever gets it, might want to tuck things in it and do whatever, put notes or anything like that. All right, well, that's it as far as this series goes. Um, I will do a flip through of this. I may do that uh, next Tuesday, um, or I may just do something completely different. I'm not sure yet, guys. It really kind of depends on time. All right, take care, everyone. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and um, we'll probably see you after Thanksgiving. Okay, take care.